Welcome back to another quickie. In this quickie, Bill asks, how do I move the start point? Very easily done. Let's get on the computer and find out. First thing you're going to do is take a shape like this. I know that looks like the Pac-Man ghost that was just done unintentionally, but it works good for this exercise. So you've got a vector, the green dots over here. You want to move it to say over here on the bottom. How do you go about that? Let me show you. Click on the node editor tool over here on the left. And now you can see you have the green node and all these black ones in here. And by the way, I am colorblind, so I'm, you know, when I say it's green, I believe it's green. <laughs> so you want to take that node and move it down here. Hover over the node on the bottom that you want it on and right click. You'll get this fly out menu. And up here on the top, you'll see delete node, smooth node, cut vector, and start node. If you left click start node, it moves the green start position to down here now. That's okay. Now suppose you wanted to move it up back up here, but you wanted it in a spot that did not have a node to choose from. Again, very easy. Put the arrow over top the position where you're looking to put the node. Right click, insert node on the fly out menu over here on the right. Fly out menu, insert node, and now you have one. Same thing as before. Right click on the node in the position that you want to start at. The flyout menu appears, we click start node, and there it is. So that's all there is to it, Bill. I hope that helped you, and I hope to help everybody else out there. So there you have it, folks. That's how you move the start point, move the nodes around so that you can start wherever you want to on your project. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, obviously. As always, give us a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and we'll catch you on the next quickie.